Hello and welcome to another Tabitha's Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today we're looking at this. <gasps> I'm so in love with this piece. Um, this is using some twisty cane and pressing it together to make this fantastic feather that we then draped over a lamp bender to create this piece. And today I'm going to show you how to make this. For this feather project, uh, I am, I've, I was going to do a kind of wavy uh, feather, but then I decided not to. And I've cut a piece of this, it's just Oregon grey. I wanted a neutral colour in the middle. And um, then I'm going to sort of, I've got scrap canes here that I'm going to just go out in the kind of feather patterns. Um, I've even got one that's got a bit of a, a curve on here. I'm not worried about them all being... Um, totally against each other because this is going to be pressed but I actually remember I did want a bit of a stalk coming out um, so this is coming like this um, I'm going to use another piece like this and then I'm just going to build it up from this I'll go into kind of orange a bit of orange here um, and then I will um, build up the, the layers into this feather that will then be pressed. So once this is ready, we can have a look at it and it can be ready to go in the kiln.
here this is ready to go in the kiln. So we'll have another kiln shell freshly washed on top of this. That will press this out. I'm a bit worried it might press it over the edges, but it won't be too much. And it will help press the whole piece together. And then we will sandblast it when it comes out and then it can either um, fire polish it at that stage or just slump it or leave it as it is, we'll see. So let's get it in the kiln and we can have a look at it when it comes out. So here this is out of the kiln. Um, I love how it's pressed together. I think it's really, really pretty. Um, considering it was mostly kind of scrap. We've um, given it a really good sandblast to get off any residue. Um, you could just clean it up with a diamond pad and we're gonna go and pack back in and fire polish it now. Um, and then I think I'm gonna try and do some organic slump on it just so that it kind of curves up a little bit. Could even drape it over something. And so it just drapes. Um, if we raise the drape off, which I might do. So get this in the kiln and then we can have a look at it when it comes out. So we have this um, out, of the, out of the kiln, beautifully fire polished, and uh, I'm just gonna give it a really good clean and then I'm gonna drape it over this. Now it's slightly, if I kind of lay it down, probably that much too small. So if I raise this off, so it's not on the kiln floor, the ends will just drape off the bottom and it will be fine. So I'll get it in the kiln and then I'll show you exactly what I mean. So here we are opening the kiln. You can see it's nicely slumped over the mould and it's somewhere, it's just falling off the edge either side, which is why we've lifted the mould off the floor so that it should look good. So we're going to just make sure it's fully um, cooled down before we take it off the mould. So here it is out of the kiln. I think it looks great and I made a few small ones. It spawned some babies because I know there's a lot of twisty cane going into the big one and it's nice to show you that you can make some little ones too. Um, I slumped some of them over the same shallow lamp bender and then one I couldn't fit on that so I put it over another former stainless steel former I had. So I slumped that one over that. Um, I think they look great. I think, you, you know, as an individual piece, they can sit on a, um, on a table or they could be an installation on a wall. I'm really loving this idea and what I can do with it. So I think it's a great idea. I hope you do too. Remember, you can get our twisty cane at our website, tabithasglassemporium.com. We have lots of lovely twisty cane there. You can also sign up to our newsletter there to hear about any new products or any new, new YouTube videos we have. So check that out too and sign up. And we also got our Facebook group, which is a great place to uh, see what other people are making with our products. It's fantastic inspiration. So check that out. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this video and until next time, happy fusing and let's hope that the bug doesn't bite Christina on the arm. <laughs>